Hello. Uh, this is our project for the COE course, Computer Engineering course, 444 in Kingfad University. We have been given a task to design a wide area network through the use of packet tracer. And the choice of our, uh, the, top the network topology that we have chosen is to design four ci three cities, city one, city two, city three, and the internet area and connect them through the frame relay wide area network cloud and uh, if we can go to city one to discuss the features that we have in city one city one has uh, a fairly simple uh, network topology we have a gateway router and a router that connects uh, each uh, network areas with each other so if we can see this first router uh, this first router has three VLANs, VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3, VLAN 2 for voice, VLAN 3 for data. And the second router has VLAN 1, VLAN 4 for voice, and VLAN 5 for data. And the final router is for end users to enter our wide area network and connect to our various services that are provided. So let's see one of the basic features we have added, which is IP telephony. Uh, this person would like to call another person in the same city so let's try to call from this person this person has the number 1001 and let's try to call this person who has the number 2001 so let's see this person can uh, let's attempt to call him so as you can see it is ringing out that means that he he should be able to receive the call so once he picks up the phone, he is now connected to him. Now they are both connected with each other. This is true for any part of this city. Anyone in this city can call anyone else in this city, provided that they have a phone number. Uh, we have only now added one number. We could add more numbers. Uh, this uh, router allows to add more than we have put a maximum of 10 numbers for each uh, network. Except for this network area they do not have phone service they only have internet service and uh, everyone in this network has IP address provided uh, to them through the DHCP in the router so this person has this address given to him by his router and this person has this address given to him in this router as you can see Also, if you can notice that this person has different address from this person. This person has 192.168.1, while this person has 192.168.3. This is because this person is using VLAN 1, while this person is using VLAN, uh, VLAN 3 for data. VLAN 2 is for the phones. So let's try to show you the another feature that we have is the mail service let's try to send an email to a user in our network let's try to send from the legend 27 compose to muhammad muhammad at mail.com let's put the message as fairly simple hello here hello there my name is the legend 27 so let's send it to him he has now received the email let's try to access the his inbox and see what what did he receive so he opens his computer he opens the email application and hits the receive and as you can see now he this is the message that he, that he received from the legend 27 and this is done through the mail server that we have in here this is the mail server and the mail server has a couple of emails added to it uh, once you download this packet tracer we will be putting it in the video description you can add as many uh, as many emails as you'd like and try to test this feature uh, also we have other servers we have google server we have Go company one server company two server uh, and the dns of course so if we try to access the internet, let's try to access company one. 
So as you can see, company one is, uh, this is the website for company one. Let's try to access company two. Yes, this is the website for company two. And let's try to access the Google. You will be, you will see something familiar here. As you can see, we have put the HTML for Google. Uh, as you can download the HTML for, uh, for Google websites uh, online. We put it in our uh, web server, as you can see here. HTTP edit. This is the HTML for Google. We basically just downloaded it and put it here just so to show you that we, you can change the HTML for any uh, web, uh, website. So uh, let's try to add another user to our network. Say we have a user that wants to connect his smartphone to our network. So let's put his smartphone here. First, he needs to know what is the access point. He needs to know the SSID. So the SSID for this first, this one is wireless hub. So basically we need to configure it to wireless hub. It is on default. That's why it's connected to this these this access point because this access point is default. Let's change it to wireless hub. So now it should connect after a couple of time. Now it's connected. So let's see the IP that he was given. Yes, as you can see, he's given 192.168.6.15. The network 192.168.6 and uh, his subnet, uh, what uh, the IP is given is 15. So this router provides uh, IPs from 192.168.6.1 upwards. He can provide uh, as as much as they liked until 2.55. And uh, let's now showcase how we can ping from one city to another. If you didn't notice yet, we, I've put here city one with EIGRP, city two with OSPF. That means that city one has EIGRP routing protocol and city two has OSPF routing protocol. Uh, the reason we did this is that uh, basically the use of routing protocol is, uh, is important in any city, of course, and each city might use or each company might use a different routing protocol maybe for instance you have uh, a maybe a company that uh, an, a network administrator that gives uh, provides uh, OSPF routing protocol or maybe your ISP uh, is using another routing protocol so we did this to showcase how we can uh, communicate with other routing protocols so this is done through the redistribution commands so basically, we put this gateway router, we gave it, uh, we allowed it to have, uh, to receive packets from EIGRP cities and send them as OSPF to these computers. This is done through the redistribution routing, uh, redistribution commands. So let's try to ping from the Legend 27 to any other PC. So as you can see, it is successful. This EIGRP city can ping OSPF city, no problem. Let's try to ping the other way around. Let's say this person wants to ping this person. So it is successful. So our redistribution commands was successful. You can download it and check the settings for each of these routers if you'd like. And let's try to call people from other cities. Let's try to call from city one to city two or c from city two to city one let's say we want to call let's say the same number one zero zero one one zero zero one so it is ringing out let's try to connect it is connected so this shows that you can call anyone from any other city with anyone else with any other city that's connected to any other city uh, let's try to, um, yes, uh, about pinging, let's try to ping one of these web servers or one of these servers. Let's try to see 
what will happen. Okay. Um, let's try to ping company1.com. As you can see, I've tested it already here. Uh, if you try to ping company1, it should not work because we've implemented firewall protection for all of these servers. So, as you can see, timeout. The request times out. However, you can still access their website. You can still access the website for any of them, but you cannot ping them directly due to the firewall protection we have added in our server. So yeah, you can access all of these servers, even the mail server service, you can access the mail service, but you cannot ping them directly. And also let's show how from other cities you can call other people. So this person with number 5002 would like to call 2001 so it is ringing out let's try to answer as you can see now we are connected so anyone here can call anyone else from any other city from any city you can call another person from another city you can send packets from one city to the other cities and this is done through the uh, routing protocols and the frame relay connections that we have here and also the redistribution command that allows for other uh, routing protocol to communicate with other routing protocols so this is our, it for our project uh, you can download this packet tracer in the video description and uh, you can test it out and uh, add any extra feature you'd like thank you very much